Mikey Williams is facing multiple charges tonight. Found several weapons inside Mikey Williams' home. Faces up to 28 years in prison. He said, we better get to stepping our ones to leave with bullet holes. Out of custody on $50,000 bail. The Mikey Williams case is heading to trial, and it's a whole new ball game. Beyond the courts, beyond the dunks, this isn't just about basketball anymore. Once hailed as a future star, Mikey is now facing a trial that could potentially end his promising career. I mean, think about it, folks. This young prodigy once had the entire world at his fingertips, poised to take the basketball world by storm. But now, it's all hanging in the balance with the possibility of a staggering 28-year prison sentence. It's a story that's as startling as it is heartbreaking. Mikey's dream of donning that Memphis Tigers jersey and hitting the hardwood this season might be over. And that's not all. His aspirations of making it to the NBA? Well, they might be on the brink of crumbling. Stay tuned as we explore a surprising twist that could change Mikey Williams' story. Mikey Williams was a name that had the basketball world buzzing not too long ago. Explosive dunks, an unstoppable offensive force, he was a walking bucket, and everyone knew it. It was all but certain that NBA franchises had their eyes on him. But as they say, fame can be fleeting. Off the court, Mikey was already a hero to millions, boasting a staggering 1 million followers on social media. And let's not forget that among those followers were heavyweights like Drake, LeBron James, and Kevin Durant. By the end of his sophomore year, his following had skyrocketed to an astonishing 3.2 million. The kid was a sensation. Just last year, in November, we saw Mikey commit to play for the Memphis Tigers under the legendary Penny Hardaway. It was supposed to be the next step in his journey to NBA glory, but here's the twist. He's currently not allowed to be a part of the basketball team until his legal issues are resolved. There's even a grim possibility that he might never don that Tigers jersey on the court again. A four-star high school recruit is heading to trial, facing a barrage of gun-related felony charges six in total. Assault with a weapon, firing into an occupied vehicle, these aren't just words, they're potential years behind bars. If convicted on all counts, he's looking at a potential sentence of up to 28 years behind bars. Now, these allegations come from an incident on March 27th. Shots were fired at a car leaving his home in unincorporated Jamul, eastern San Diego County. The situation escalated from a heated argument and bullets were aimed at the vehicle, Luckily, no one was harmed. He was taken into custody and later posted bail at $50,000. But now, his future in basketball is hanging by a thread. The most recent preliminary court hearing has revealed unsettling details. Although direct witnesses didn't see Williams pull the trigger, two young women testified to his threats. According to Ziegler, one of them recounted him saying, we better get to stepping or they'll leave with bullet holes. Another one recalled, we're up in the mountains, so no one will be able to save us or help us. These testimonies cast a dark shadow over Mikey's once bright future. The Intriguing Testimonies In the courtroom, a series of witnesses took the stand, painting a picture that could change the trajectory of Mikey Williams' career. They all made one thing clear, none of them were armed and they didn't threaten Mikey. But here's where it gets intriguing. One of the girls who testified initially made statements to the police but later retracted part of her account on the witness stand. She showed hesitancy when questioned about whether she had ever seen Mikey wield a firearm. What's more, she mentioned feeling pressure during the police questioning. It's a revelation that raises questions about the case's integrity. But wait, there's more. Giovanni Saliz, the one who drove the group to Mikey's home, provided a different perspective. He stated that he initially stayed in the car, but later glanced back and claimed to have seen Mikey holding what appeared to be a gun. This contradiction in testimonies adds another layer of complexity to the case. Hold on, because it gets even more intriguing. According to Ziegler, one witness alleged that another individual attempted to dissuade him from testifying, offering a tantalizing deal in exchange for payment. She told me I will get paid. She didn't say by whom. She said she was getting a contract from Mikey. And it's not just the witnesses who make this story complex. Memphis forward J.J. Taylor, a high school teammate and close friend of Williams, was present both at the scene and during the hearing. But here's the twist. Many witnesses said J.J. and others were trying to calm Mikey and resolve the problem. Legal Limbo This is yet another unexpected roadblock for Mikey on his journey to suit up for Memphis this season. 
The Tigers have an exhibition game against Lane College on October 29th. Their regular season starts eight days later against Jackson State, so time is running out. The University of Memphis Athletic Department said Williams can't play for the Tigers until his legal issues are settled. But here's the kicker. Legal trials tend to drag on, and that spells trouble for Mikey's dreams of playing for Memphis, or even making it to the NBA. But it's not all doom and gloom. The program isn't completely cutting ties with the star recruit. The statement makes it clear. Once Mikey's legal journey ends, the athletic department will evaluate his status on the team. There's a glimmer of hope in that statement. Let's not forget Mikey's incredible journey to this point. He was one of the early stars in the name, image, and likeness era, scoring a multi-year deal with Puma, the iconic shoe and athletic apparel giant, back in 2021. He had a massive following across his social media platforms, but in a twist, those accounts now lie dormant. Mikey burst out of the scene with a bang, suiting up for San Isidro High School in his freshman year. On his debut, he dropped a jaw-dropping 41 points. But wait, it gets even better. In one remarkable game, he etched his name in the record books, scoring an astonishing 77 points. It was a season of sheer dominance. The numbers spoke volumes, nearly 30 points per game, 6.7 rebounds, and 4.9 assists in his freshman year. It was no surprise when he was crowned Max Preps National Freshman of the Year, marking his arrival on the big stage. In his second year, Williams switched to Lake Norman Christian High School. He kept showing his scoring ability by averaging more than 21 points per game, and this proved how well he could adapt and how versatile he was. But the prodigy returned to his roots for his senior year, back to San Isidro High School. In his final stretch of high school hoops, Mikey showcased a balanced game, averaging 23.2 points, 9.2 assists, and 3.2 rebounds per game. With his high school journey reaching its climax, the spotlight was on him during the college recruiting process. He had offers from Alabama, USC, and Arizona State. However, he ultimately decided to commit to the University of Memphis. Mikey has got a foot in the door at Memphis with online courses, but the door to the basketball court remains firmly shut. He's on the academic side, but the team activities and program facilities are off limits. That's a red flag waving high, given his gun-related felony charges. And despite glimpses of him in Memphis, soaking up the summer, he never officially donned the Tigers' jersey. Head coach Petty Hardaway, though, continues to express his unwavering support. He said in June, I'm not calling him guilty before he's innocent, and a lot of people do that. But for me, we're just staying the course until we figure this entire thing out. Now, despite the team's statement, Coach Hardaway isn't giving up on Mikey. He has doubled down on his support for the 19-year-old saying, I mean, we're just supporting him. There is no news that's come out to make us change our minds or think any differently, so we're just supporting him. Hardaway had previously told the media that he will wait out the legal process before making decisions about Williams' future with the Tigers, but the preliminary hearing ruling adds another layer of complexity. Mikey's potential start date with the Tigers is now on hold delayed at least until after the trial. For him to hit the court this season, a plea agreement that keeps him out of prison and aligns with Memphis might be key. Otherwise, this saga could extend into spring and beyond, depending on trial scheduling. The NBA Dream on Hold The stakes are high, and it all depends on the outcome of Williams' trial. The court's decision might decide if his dream of being a pro basketball player comes true. So, what's your take on Mikey's situation? Can he still make it to the NBA? Or are his dreams slipping away? But before you go, if you're hungry for more details on the Mikey Williams saga, you're in the right place. Just click right here on that next video. It's over. Mikey Williams is about to collapse.